Hello there, it's me Sari here again and today I'm actually shooting my 400th video for YouTube. It's pretty amazing I must say, I never saw this coming. I won't be dwelling on that or chatting about that too long, I just wanted to shout that out. Uh, I got a request on to making a video in English about my love for pens really and especially the second part that I made in Swedish before. And let's see if I can get started here. What I have done here is I have used a ruler, a tea ruler really, that actually lies flat there and makes sure that you actually are lining it up against the edge of the paper and in that case you can make those lines really nice. Perhaps I ought to even do that on that one, but I, I sh I'm, I'm thinking that I might actually just wing it. And what you can see here is my attempt of making the alphabet with different kinds of pens. I mean, when it comes to calligraphy, you could of course go for these regular dip pens. You could just dip it in the ink and do the writing. I am not that good at that, so I really don't feel like showing you my bad skills. I'm not good at it at all, I must say. So I need more practice before I can make a video of it. Then, of course, there are different kinds of calligraphy pens with some... I'm not sure what you call it now. Um... <laughs> I know the Swedish word for it, but it doesn't help you now, does it? But this one has, that doesn't have any fluid ink, that's what I was, I, was, I was aiming at. And I've got a couple of these, I have been buying them for several years from now and then, but I haven't really done any writing with them. And then what, what I forgot to tell you about in the former video was actually that I do have another calligraphy pen which comes in a set with different kinds of nibs that you can actually change and this one also has cartridges that you can change and I particularly like this one because it has got a split nib and it does make really nice two-lined letters. At times you might need to get that one going. Let's see if I can zoom it in a little bit better. So at times you might need to just get it to work you might even have to wipe it off. I'm not that good about that, cleaning the brushes and the nibs and everything. But let's see if I can just make something out of this. Let's start with an A. And just look at this. I mean, even if you haven't got a perfect calligraphy hand, which I haven't, as you can see, it still does look quite funky when it comes to using these. So here we've got an A, B, C, D. And even if I tend to skip the starts and everything, I, th I still think that they do look quite smashing. And when it comes to the F, I'm just going to make the line a bit thinner like that. So instead of just keeping the pen always at the same angle, I actually just broke the law and went to the other side there. So I definitely recommend you to get a split nib pen of some kind because they are really fun. And when you have a cartridge that actually makes the ink flow nicely, it's a really nice thing to do the writing. Then I have purchased a couple of these Pilot Parallel pens, which are absolutely magnificent when it comes to flowy ink and everything. The ones that I've got here has got three widths of their nibs. So the first one is one and a half millimeters, the second is two and two and a four, 2.4 and a third one is 3.8. I'm missing the fourth, the 6.0. I haven't actually had gotten my hands on that one yet. So let me just show you how nicely this one works. I'm going to show you the first one, 2.4. And let me tell you, the reason for me getting two of these pretty expensive pens was that I could actually have a cartridge with one particular colour in it and another colour in the other one. So I don't have to change cartridges, clean up the pen too often, because I do want to be able to be quick and swift about this. Let's see if I can make something. Bear with me if I don't get anything straight here. And I must remind you, I, ha I, I am, haven't got a calligraphy hand. I've just started, but I do like experimenting and 
just making something nice out of it, or at least trying, attempting to make something nice out of it. I think I'll just start with an A, and you see the ink is pretty liquid, fluid, it stays wet for a little bit, so I, I really do like these pens. They are easy to work with, and of course, depending on what width you've got on your pen, that really determines how nice your letters are going to look. You could also use the end or the side end of the tip and even sometimes you might have to give it a wiggle just to get the ink flowing just to make it work with those thin thin lines but if you actually are missing out on your pen you might actually do some journaling journal writing with this pen. It isn't always easy, but sometimes it does work. So you can actually just do some writing even with this thin nib. Let's make it part if I can. So you might do well by having some piece of a piece of paper or something to your right or left if you're going to do some writing with this. Um, I, I wouldn't recommend this as you can see that it doesn't flow that well now does it? But the parallel pens are absolutely fabulous. The container or the pen holder itself is out of plastic so it doesn't weigh particularly anything really. Let's see, I'm sure I missed out on showing with the cartridge. The cartridge is um, really easy to install, you just push it in into the nib, give it a little squeeze to make sure that the ink starts to flow down here. Then it's all about just screwing the pen together like this and then just screwing on the lid as well because it's a screw lid. And just by holding the lid with that little flap there really makes it easy to just work with the other hand. So it's an easy peasy pen I must say. So that was the 2.4 millimeter pen. I could actually just show you what the same width would look like with the red. I sort of became pretty, fell in love with the red when I did some writing, let's say, for that fabulous text there. I did try that one out for the first time just the other day and I was surprised by how easy it was to get these beautiful endings and everything. And in this case I'm also making a thin line even though I'm not supposed to do that but I'm just doing it anyway and I think I'll just write another word here I'm doing the same thing there and I'm going to go for photo like that and um, so it's an, I do love these pens when it comes to using the 1.5 millimeter pen you might have to struggle, at least I have to struggle a bit because the point or the tip is a bit smaller or not that, and more narrow perhaps you should say. And I find it pretty difficult to just make the lettering as nice as I would like to. I don't seem to get those thin lines as thin as I would like to. Even if I try, they don't really come out as thin as I would like to. So that's the problem that I'm facing really but I'm sure that a skilled hand would succeed better with this. So I'm just going to make the A, B, C, D there. And when it comes to the broadest tip that I have got, I believe that one is filled up with some black ink. This one gives you a really nice size for the letter. Let's see if I can make a G because, you know, I have absolutely fallen in love with the letter G. Sometimes I manage to make them really nice. Well, this one has to do really. Could put a tail to that one as well. And if I would like to make a word out of it, I could actually make this. And I'm thinking that I might actually make it a beautiful F. Some of these letters are really fancy, schmancy, golf. I do like that. So, you can see here the different kinds of colours and the sizes of those nibs. And I won't go into details about how to write those words. I've just played around with different kinds of G letters there, Lagerberg. And taking a photo, just another G letter there. 
and here's another one which I did with the broadest tip and I wrote the word dream and then if we are going to move ahead to different kinds of pens and I'm just going to leave these calligraphy pens I could actually go for some kind of a text thing I have I went to a texting class because I did feel a bit conscious about my terrible handwriting so I decided on just taking the plunge and starting to learn different letters and improving my hand lettering really so that's what I went for so this pen is called the Pigma Micron and in this case it's the 03 size you can see it there and this is a really nice pen that actually enables you when it comes to making swirls and everything let's make the wall swirl perhaps and you could of course play around with it just have some fun dare to go outside of your comfort zone and experiment with the placing of the letters why not and even experiment with small or capital and yeah big letters and small letters just to make it easy for you just put a an end to that one and give it a, a tail there it'll make it a look a little bit sweeter and just to finish things off I'm actually going to end it off with just a handwritten sort of old school L there so there's a swirl for you I'm skipping the dot on the eye because this is a big eye it seems like and uh, well I could absolutely recommend you these pens pens that go into the sort of same category are the pens that come from Stabilo and this one has got a fine tip 0 0.4 and well it's basically the same thing it's pretty easy to make different kinds of swirls and such and you could also do some pretty nifty writing with it and just deciding on what kind of uh, font you're going to use you could have lots of fun with this let's see Kelly yeah, you see, I'm just going for the Swedish language here, so this is why it goes wrong sometimes. But let's see, calligraphy. And what kind of a G I'm going to do now? Well, this is pretty easy, a G, I must say. Calligraphy, and then that long A again. And what about the F? I'm going to make it tall, and I'm going to do it like that. So these pens are really handy. They, are, they really do last. I believe that I have... I bought these pens, let's say, 10 to 20 years ago, and they still last. Of course, I haven't written with them for a long, long, long time, but they still last. I haven't dried up, and that's the most amazing thing about them, I think. And then when it comes to making numbers, because some numbers are pretty tricky sometimes to make, but I did buy myself a really nice book, which is all about funny handwriting styles or hand lettering styles it shows you a couple of examples you can make some shadow effects and you can make uh, all sorts of things and I've just looked at the words that uh, they have uh, showcast here uh, showcased here and I've just tried to copy them or mimic them and I found the, the numbers in this book so that was what I, that was what I went for here and of course uh, depending on what kind of a swirly person you are perhaps you might not even like these letters but I absolutely think that they are fantastic so you can make your swirls as big or as small as you like I do like the number five here but I tend to like number two as well and just by adding on adding on adding on a couple of dots here and there you can make their letter pop, pop and come to life. Just by putting those dots there, something happens with the outcome and the result, don't you think? And my recommendation for you is that if you're going to use the number four with a swirly tail like that, you shouldn't put it first in a number of, or series of numbers. You should absolutely put it last because then you have the, the possibility of actually a long lengthening that uh, tail there so let's see I'm just going to make a diagonal line like that and I'm just going to make 
a sort of a snail looking swirl there. I'm just going to connect those two lines and I've got my four there. When it comes to the number six you could just have some fun going around in a maze like that. The same thing goes for the number nine of course. You could actually start by making it like that. And you could also make the same thing when it comes to zero. Now let's see, number three could be a bit tricky depending on what kind of elaborate work you're going to make into it but you see sometimes I sort of succeed in making these. If you have a number that you're having a problem with, excess, uh, or just try it again, practice, don't give up. Number seven I think is really fancy. You could just make it easy like that of course, couldn't you? Just like that. Or you could just make a sort of a tail there and let that one go there. You could even put on Let's say a swirl that goes that way and a swirl that goes that way. Just have fun with it. And when it comes to making a fun bit of text like this, I'm thinking that I will actually take a new piece of paper to do that. I haven't mastered the alphabet per se, but I could make some kind of a word here. Let's, let's make this word. Let's see if you can guess where I'm heading at. Just need to put my hand where you can see it. So I'm just going to make the big letter like so and I'm just going to give it some sort of a width. width. I could of course give it some kind of a dot there and I was thinking of actually Either I could make the small letters or I could actually continue making all of these big. And just by making them perhaps a bit various in height and everything, I can give them more life. So if I do it like that, so CH, what else could I do here? Well, I'm going to go for this. And all of these things actually you can decide on if you want to put the line a bit lower down you could do so. You could put some dots on your letters and in this case I'm well I was thinking about a word but then again I started thinking about another one. Well let's see. Let's see. I'm going to go for a letter this big. And I mustn't forget about the thickness as well. I could put it there and I couldn't I? I could put the bottom pieces there and I could make it like that, easy peasy. I could make it thicker and come to think of it I'm sort of starting to think about Madonna and one of her hits. Cherish. And just to raise some hell I'm thinking of actually making this one into a small letter. That's what you can do if you're up to it and just make a circle there. So cherish. And um, I'm not sure if there's anything more I can show you apart from perhaps try to show you how to make these really slim letters. Bear with me, I'm not sure at all that I will succeed right now. If you're going to make, let's say I, would, I, would, I were to write somebody's name here, if I'm going to put this on a piece of, a, of an envelope, I could just make a fancy name and surname and then just do pretty casual a, an address and everything. So let's say hmm, I'm trying to keep it as narrow as I possibly can and here you can decide on whether you want these down here or if you want them to be higher up and that of course could also decide how the S is going to look like. 
I'm sure these ought to be two words, but this is just for demonstrative purpose, really. And as you can see that I haven't really managed to keep the letters the same size, and that has to do because I haven't done any lines. So let's just make that R come down a little, just to make it as it was intentional. And I forgot about myself, I ought to have made that R thinner. And let's try to improve that with that one then. And I'm even going to put that E even lower and I'm going to finish that one off with a T, so Wall Street. And uh, as I told you before, when it comes to making a post uh, code number and such, just think about how are your numbers going to be. If you've got a four, just make it easy peasy because you're going to continue making something out of after that one. So let's make four, five, seven, and perhaps two, and perhaps even six there. And then you could do what you have to do behind that. And um, I do hope that uh, Eve, that asked me to make a video, sort of is getting what she wants out of this. And um, well, I could show you perhaps this, but it doesn't really differ that much from anything else. Let's see. One of my favorite towns in the world is London. Just to have some fun, you could actually write it with different kinds of letters. And now we come to the D letter. And I know that it has got pretty nice of room to make some patterns there. And the D could be like this. Lun now see I'm I'm misspelling this because I'm talking at the same time. But you get the idea I hope. So you could just make those lines, nothing fancy. Just make it pop. Make something happen. You could make your circles and you could even just put some dots there. So my tip for you is to just experiment with those pens that you've got at home. Have some fun, experiment and uh, really practice, practice quite a lot. I've been pretty avid with this and I have sort of started feeling a bit comfortable when it comes to this. I could finish off with just one more word that I saw in an example that I had made before. When it comes to making those nice looking swirls, you could just experiment and have fun and I'm going to make it that way and I'm going to make it that way and then you just have to think about how would it be if I were to put something like that there and well let's go wild you see the letters are coming too wide apart but let's not on that. No. Oh. Well, I forgot about myself there. I forgot about oh, fabulous. And let me come to the S. To practice, 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 practice. Fabulous. I'm going to sign off right now. Bye bye.